Hi, I'm Dan Palomino with KW Big Island and the Hawaii team. Well, today I am in Waikoloa Beach Resort, but before we get to that, I want to tell you, if you like these videos, if you enjoy watching these videos, then hit the subscribe button down below right now. Just hit that button and every time we post a new video about what it's like to live, work and play here on the Big Island, you'll be notified. But better yet, do me a favor and share these videos. Hit the share button and share these videos so other people can enjoy them and other people can subscribe. Okay, why am I in Waikoloa Beach Resort today? Because a lot of people, when they look to stay here on the island, they always say, hey, Dan, where should we stay? And we talk about the six resorts on the west side of the island and some of the pros and cons. But one of the questions that everybody asks when they're thinking about staying here is, how close am I to the beach? That's number one. That's the number one question they ask. Then they say, how close am I to restaurants and shopping? Which is where I'm at today. I am in the Queens Marketplace in Waikoloa Beach. And this is the central hub of a lot goes on. Uh, you'll see a pavilion in the video here where a lot of the entertainment activities go on. Hula dancing, ukulele playing, bands, Christmas, you know, different holiday events happen in the central pavilion inside the Queen shops. And then of course there's lots of different stores and restaurants that you can choose from. There's a macaroni grill here. There's a nice sushi place called Sensei. And then there's a theater here. It's called Waikoloa Cinemas. They call it a luxury cinema. I suppose because of the extra high back chairs and the fact that you can get food delivered right to your chair in the movie theater. Now you're probably accustomed to that on the mainland, but they do it here as well. And the food at the movie theater, really, really good. So wide variety of stores here. Everything from all of your beachware that you would expect to, you know, specialty stores like the Croc store or places to get uh, really cool island clothing that's local and unique. Um, there's Volcom and Quicksilver, all the big brands that you would expect. And there's a beautiful art gallery here as well. So a lot to choose from here. And then probably one of the biggest anchors of this place is uh, Island Gourmet, which is you know, kind of a, a small grocery store. So if you're staying here in the resort and you got to get eggs or meat or cereal or whatever the case may be, you can get it at Island Gourmet. But more importantly, they have a lot of food, both fresh and grab and go at Island Gourmet. You can get that all here. So again, if you're thinking about, you know, hey, how close am I to restaurants and shopping? If you're staying in the Waikoloa Beach Resort, the Queens Marketplace is your stop. And there's a variety of places to stay uh, that are all my favorites here in Waikoloa Beach. Hali'i Kai uh, stands out. Waikoloa Beach Villas, I must have sold five people uh, a condominium in Waikoloa Beach Villas. There's the Shores. I've sold units in the Vistas. There's the Colony Villas. There's a lot of different opportunities for condos or townhomes here in Waikoloa Beach. Not so many for single family homes. You need to know that. Waikoloa Beach is not a ton of single family homes. It's mostly condos. Manalani Resort has more single family homes and we can address that in another video. But I hope you've enjoyed this little tour today around the Queens Marketplace. One of my favorite places to hang out and shop and I hope you enjoy it too. And again, if you need to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, contact us here at the Hawaii team. You can call the number on the screen. I'll actually pick up the phone. And I look forward to talking with you. Aloha.